Oh, good morning, Interbed fans, and welcome to the Vol Classic Thursday, the 15th of October. And uh, we got 23 pentrometers, so there's been a bit of rain around. And um, we got a 9 meter um, false rail from the 800 and from the 800 meter mark, it's uh, uh, 6 meters. So that shows they're going to throw them all out into the middle of the straight. Um, quite an interesting race card and with a bit of rain around you're going to find some very interesting results. It looks pretty straightforward but it might actually not be quite like that. Race 1, 12.30, ball maiden plate, 3 year olds uh, on the turf, 1450 meters. Let's hope the track's in good shape because I'm sure a little rain will have helped and this has become very patchy. Um, absolute three cornered contest. Nine Godswood looks like the right horse from the Paul Peter stable, and uh, the joint favourite with it, or just slightly uh, longer in the bidding, number one, Bold Resolve, Mike de Cox, runner with Samanga Kamala, gets blinkers for the first time. The one that might beat both of them is Ultimate Warrior. Third run after a rest, two very good runs, and I think uh, he'll uh, show. A, a good run here and I think this might suit him very well from draw two. That is going to help. Uh, that's the first leg of the bipod. I'm going to put in three horses. Race two. Uh, maiden plate fillies and mares, 1600 meters. Another three cornered contest. My top choice is La Luvia from the Sean Terry stable. It was backed first time out and I think there's big improvement to come from the daughter of self falling rain. Uh, she's my top choice. Lotus has had um, a few starts. She's run pretty well. She's shown herself to what she is. She might be better with blinkers as Philly, uh, and that's why I'm going against her. What are the danger? The danger is Bella Black from the Paul Matchett stable. Samanga Kamala gets a ride on it off a decent draw. Race three, maiden plate, 2,000 meters. Uh, you've got to go five ways here. The top four in the, uh, on the race card. Uh, look like they'll fight it out with Scottish Primrose as probably the big danger number 13 on the card, Callum Murray for Mike DeCock. Um, uh, looks like the distance will suit this one down to the ground, being by Flower Alley out of a Tiger Ridge mare. But uh, Sage has got two runners, Robbie Sage, he's got three and four in the race. Um, uh, three looks to be the better one with Kamala, but Yeni rides four and Yeni's a stable rider. Uh, two bright-eyed girl will improve over the distance. Why her mowings runner? They have a close look at this. Has come from Cape Town, and they've thrown it straight into 2,000 meters. Why is very good at this. Uh, one fall flower. Uh, Baron Porters, Matthew Thackeray definitely got the form to be there or thereabouts. Will she stay the 2,000 meters? Race four classified 2,400 meters. I make it a three-cornered contest. Uh, Palace Green's got to be the top choice. Um, uh, they just got a little four point penalty for uh, running second last time out, which I don't think is very fair at all. Um, what's the danger? Nine Little Wood looks like the big danger. She likes this course. She's getting cheek pieces for the first time. She gets Stratum, who has done well on her. He's won on her. Um, lots to like about her. The big result horse and the horse that you've got to try and work out where it's coming from and whether there's any support for it is number 12 perfect light this filly's got tremendous mare she is now got tremendous ability uh, i really like her but she gets muzi yeni and she comes back from an eight nine month rest so 10 month rest so they don't throw them into these 2400 meters unless they've had enough work and i would think that she's got to have a bit, some sort of chance if she's ready Race five, um, Mary Red at 72, they go 1600 meters, and I like one Tiger's Rock. I think he's ready, he's come down in the merit rating. Joe Summers, a master, and uh, Raymond Danielson picks up the ride this time. Um, I would have thought that this is absolutely right for him, and this is where I fancy him. Let's talk, looks like the, the right horse in the race. He only had three starts, run very well on all three occasions. What else is there? Well, there's Sammy Musa, the stable companion, gets Lyle Hewitson. Lyle won on a couple of uh, St. John Gray's runners, so maybe worth throwing Sammy Musa in. She's only won three, but she's, her form's pretty competitive. Bellagio King got touched off last time. Kurt's approval's got some form and gets straight up. Race six, uh, classified, 1600, and this is a field race in my opinion. Whipping Boy gets a four kilogram claim. He's got very good form and he should be able to win a race like this. 
well drawn at three, that's going to help him. Wakas, Pierce Stratum, drawn 14, it's going to be uh, on the outside, but that might not um, inconvenience him. Uh, Bingwa, very good win last time out. Paschal Samoa uh, has gone up in the weight, and I think this will catch uh, her out. Uh, Louvrain, look for improvement from that one, from the Corner Speech Yard podcast. Third run, look for improvement. Fly North, get set. All the Bar and Borders runners all look like they've got some sort of chance. And then follow my path. I've been following this horse. Now, this horse gets soft going. This is what he'd been looking for. I'm putting him into all my play with Kamala aboard him. Race 7, Claire, Pinnacle, Phillies and Mares. Uh, it looks like four-cornered contest. Uh, the right filly looks to be Anna Capri. It looks like a perfect race for her. Uh, Gavin Lorena, she's won her last two pretty convincingly. But she's not meeting uh, the blind school here. Winter Watch has got very good form. Uh, Roy Magna knows how to turn them out, and I think it will run well. Before the dawn, two course and distance, and then Sweet Sensation. Ignore its last two starts. It ran in two big features in Durban, and I expect it to run very much better, come back over the 1,000 meters for Cornet Speed. So that goes into all, everything. Race 8, um, graduation, 1,000 meters. The question horse here is Nafa, Mike the Cox runner. He's had breathing noises. He's been gelded. Uh, if he improves, because he showed a lot, he ran three lengths off them in a computer form sprint, um, he's got to have a big chance here. Garden Party, uh, the... Paul Peter runner with Gavin Lorena aboard it, very good form. Uh, Va Varina, Ashley Fortune, Samanga Kamala, Slalom Queen, uh, much better over the thousand, comes uh, back to the thousand meters. Lyle Hewitson rides this one for uh, Sean Terry, number 13 on the card. And Tim Diwali, look for this one to improve. Uh, this has only had one run back, but there'll be big improvement from this uh, mare, I think, this uh, gelding at least Diwali. Look for him to improve from the Robbie Sage stable. All in all, most interesting race card, uh, but um, a lot of uh, puzzles to be sorted out, and I think you could get a good payout. From me, James Goodman, Interbet, remember, we play on the games, and uh, roulette will be our game this morning before we get uh, to the start of the first race. Enjoy.